everyone! Today's transformation will be turning this toy castle into a Harry Potter Hogwarts inspired castle. This is a really fun project to beat that lockdown boredom. I'm using the Ultimate Disney Princess Castle. You can find these on Facebook Marketplace or at the thrift store. Because it's made of plastic, the first thing I did was spray the whole thing with primer. This will just help everything stick better. Unfortunately, the door was missing. So using some Hogwarts inspiration, I decided to make the door myself using cardboard and clay. I will list everything I used in the description box below. Once I'd stuck the cardboard down, I'd cover it with a thin layer of air dry clay. To give the clay a nice even texture, I used this plastic texture sheet. I then covered the rest of the castle walls and moulded on the brick shape. The key to getting air dry clay to stick and blend together is to use water, so I'm always dipping my fingers in water. I made these window details using craft sticks from the dollar store and hot glue. I'm using these popsicle sticks to add to the door. When the clay had dried, I painted the whole thing in acrylic paint. You might need a couple of layers depending on the quality of the paint. To get an aged effect, I added a few different shades of brown and grey. Once I've done that, I painted a thin layer of my base coat on top of it just so that the colours peek through. To get the door extra smooth, I sanded it in places and added some more clay to other places. I'm making the pillars using these rounded craft sticks which I got at the dollar store. I painted in between the bricks to get them to stand out a bit more. I then added the windows using plastic product packaging and sticking them to the back of the castle using hot glue. Using some images I found on Google, which by the way I'll list the search terms below, I printed out some typical Hogwarts themes and stuck them to the back of the windows. I have this badminton shuttle which I never use, which I'm going to cut and paint to turn it into a wall sconce. I may replace them in the future with lanterns. You can find tutorials for lanterns on YouTube. I made the base using a hair curler pinch I will also use as a detail for the door. I did this by pulling it apart and painting it and sticking it on. To make a faux stained glass effect, I used craft glue mixed with acrylic paint. Another great combination is food colouring with Mod Podge. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was a lot of fun and really rewarding. I think it's a project that I'll just keep adding to and improving and I might even do the interiors on the other side. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more awesome craft projects and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.